Yoga for lower back pain. Did you know, one of the important points for successful yoga is to have enough time in each pose to allow the muscles to relax. One of the reasons the exercise isn't effective for some people is because practicing each pose is so quick, the mind isn't really there, and the muscles don't have enough time to relax. Now, if you're ready, train with me. Diamond Pose, Kneeling Meditation You must always remember that, Meditation is extremely important in helping us quickly bring our bodies to a state that is ready for physical and mental movement. Meditate a few minutes before each workout. Direct your thoughts to the area affected by the disease. Child's Pose Slowly First take a deep breath and compress the tension in your lower abdomen and press this air balloon to your thighs. Slowly put your hands on the floor and stretch further and slowly lower your body forward. Breathe in several cycles of slow, deep breathing with the lower abdomen. Try to relax the lumbar region. Your goal is to cure disease when using this exercise. You can use your hands to support, adjust the level to lower the body according to your pain level. If possible, you can rest your forehead on the floor and fully relax your waist for as long as possible. Put your upper body on the floor. Open both thighs to the sides. Slowly release your belly forward freely and use your hands for support. Now, if possible, extend two thighs further on both sides. And continue lowering the chest to the floor. Finally lay the chest and cheek on the floor. Remember to always breathe a lot of slow, deep breathing cycles with the lower abdomen. With each breath, you will feel the relaxation of each muscle group in your lower back. Relax upper body towards front thigh, back leg straight. Now, we put the right shin to align with the left leg. We turn to the right like that. As you slowly lower your body forward, your belly rests on your right thigh. Breathe in several cycles of slow, deep breathing with the lower abdomen. The swelling and sagging of the abdomen will help your lower back to relax better. and you can lay your forehead on the ground, loosen the lumbar region as much as possible. Now, you use the arm to move the right shin so that it is wide, almost perpendicular to the left leg, then bend in combination with the same breath as above. And now, do the same for the left. Turn left. 
Place the left shin along the right leg. Lower your body. Loosen the waist. Breathe several cycles of slow, deep breathing with the lower abdomen. We can put our forehead on the ground like that if you can. Continuing, use the hand to move the left shin so that it is wide, almost perpendicular to the right leg. Then continue applying upper body lowering techniques in combination with the same breath as above. We put our forehead on the floor if you can. Put your upper body on a straight leg. The right leg is stretched. The left leg is bent. Bend slowly towards the right thigh. Level 1. Two hands cling only to the right foot. You can also use a cord to support it in this way. The back is straight, the belly slightly forward, the head raised. Notice, to cure the disease, we are not here just to bend forward but it is important that along with the process of bending forward with your back straight and your head up, your lumbar region is always stretched downwards and forward, while combined with slow and deep breathing cycles with the lower abdomen. Level 2. If you cannot descend further, you continue to maintain level 1. If you can, let's go to level 2. The left hand holds the right foot. The right hand placed on the chin and placed on the floor. Continues to lower the upper body, relaxes the waist and combines well with cycles of slow and deep breathing in the lower abdomen. Level 3. Now, if you can't look any further, stay at level 2. If you can, keep practicing level 3. Put the abdomen on the thigh, the chest on the knee and place one cheek on the shin. We slowly apply the entire upper body to the right leg, bending and waiting for the gradual adaptation of the lumbar region. Put the abdomen on the thigh. Put the chest on the knee and and place one cheek on the shin. Loosen the lumbar region and combine well with slow and deep breathing cycles with the lower abdomen. Now do the same for the left. Level 1, two hands cling only to the left foot. You can also use a support cord like this. Be careful not to rush to try to lower yourself quickly but try to stretch your spine forward as much as possible, not head down. Combine well with slow, deep breaths with the lower abdomen.
Level 2, if you are able, the right hand holds the left foot. The left hand supports the chin and rests on the ground. Continues to relax the lumbar region and combines well with the slow and deep breaths of the lower abdomen. Level 3, of course, if you are able, we continue to stick the whole upper body on the left leg. According to the order the belly to the thighs, the chest to the knees, and one side of the cheek on the shin. Slowly lower your upper body with a gradual adaptation of the lumbar region. Relax deeply, combine well with slow, deep breaths with the lower abdomen. Fold the body forward. We sat with our legs straight on the floor, slowly falling forward. Level 1. Two hands only stick to the foot, or use an assist cord like this. Please be careful. Do not rush to bend forward. Try to stretch your spine forward as much as possible first, and pay special attention to your waist pain. Combine well with slow, deep breaths with the lower abdomen. Level 2, if you are able. Hold your chin with your hands and rest your elbows on your knees. You can gradually bring your elbows forward to increase the relaxation of the lower back muscles. Combine well with slow, deep breaths with the lower abdomen. You can gradually bring your elbows forward to increase the relaxation of the lower back muscles. Level 3. If possible, now, gradually stick your upper body on your straight legs, also respecting the order of placing the abdomen on the thighs, the chest up to the knees, and finally put the forehead in the middle of the two shins. Combine well with slow, deep breaths with the lower abdomen. regulates the spine now maybe our spine is in the best state of relaxation we need to correct the vertebrae back to their true position come on clasp your arms behind your knees breathe in the lower abdomen and compress the breath strengthening the lower abdomen at the level of the lumbar region legs crossed slightly bent back and roll gently backwards feeling the contact of each vertebra on the floor this technique is a bit like harvesting the results of our work today, so we have to do it carefully to get the best results. Continue to gently roll the body well for a few minutes. Combine well with slow, deep breaths with the lower abdomen. Pay attention to your lumbar region to adjust the level of force and the rhythm of the support yourself so that it is more effective. And, now, to finish the practice, you can lie down like this for as long as you want. 
goodbye, see you soon.